everybody, and welcome to Bold Live. It's uh, March 1st. Happy March, everybody, 2024. And um, we are going live in just a few minutes with Dr. John Finnegan, or you can just call him Finn. Um, it's been quite the week here at the Bold and the Beautiful, if you've been watching, as fans around the world um, are coming to grips with the death of Sheila Carter. So, um, you know, I can't believe it myself. But the person who really can't believe it is Finn, right? I mean, what a week that guy's had. And uh, I can't wait to talk to uh, Tanner about um, everything that's going on. And maybe we can get, you know, some uh, hint of what's to come. So everybody get comfortable because Bold Live starts in three, two, one. Boom. Hello. Welcome. How are you all doing? We made it. We are here. You guys having a good week? Yes? Good? I see people. Hi, Elizabeth, Mary, April, Jade, Alice, Mona. Oh, Mona's here. Hey, Mona. Rana. Oh, Ronald. Good to see you guys. Um, I'm excited to be here. Um, it's been a very, very dramatic and uh, shocking week. You know, last week on Bold Live, we had Kimberlyn on, and she said it was going to be shocking and surprising. And I know um, we're all reeling from the death of Sheila, and... Um, we're just going to have to come to come to accept it, you know, but it is really dividing the fan bases. A lot of people um, are accepting it. A lot of people are not believing it. So um, I don't know what to tell you, uh, but I will tell you this. There was some other news before I bring Tanner on. Uh, I will say there was some other news this week, um, and I just kind of want to briefly just clear that up. Um so in the news, it was announced that Young and the Restless, is, uh, our sister show on CBS, is, a, is getting a four, four more years on their um, uh, contract or four more years on CBS. So four more seasons. Congratulations, Young and the Restless. And at the same time, it was announced that The Bold and the Beautiful um, has a one-year extension. So I saw a lot of comments saying, hmm, why and got four years? B&B only got one. Well, the truth is we are two different shows with two different contracts, two different deals. So I, I can't, it's not my place to really comment, comment on it other than to say that um, we're on a, uh, a three-year deal. And so the third year was picked up and the way it works. So next year will be when we negotiate for a brand new contract. So we are currently on a, on a deal that gives us one more year. And then, uh, you know, so we're on through 2025. Thank you, CBS. We love being on CBS, and um, we couldn't be happier. So we'll we'll have more news next year, and hopefully we're here for a very, very long time. So just wanted to clear that up. All right, so now let's bring on the man of the hour, Tanner Novlin. Tanner. Wait, oh, he went away. Oh, my goodness. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, there I'm you here. are. Hey. I'm I just <laughs> Welcome. How are uh, you, man? I, I'm good. I'm good. I just... Uh... I had a, my, my one-year-old threw up everywhere out of his nap. So I was, uh, I was on, I'm coming into this late and hot, but that's okay. So okay, at least you can well, smell yeah, me through the computer. So it's all good. Thank you for taking time out today. And <laughs> how's the family? It's, it was good. Get my well, reconnected. Oh, that's makes me nervous. Why it's doing that. Didn't do any of that last week says froze. Okay. Well, we're going to, we're going to, well, hopefully, hopefully we're okay now. Hopefully we're okay. Um, yeah, I'm good over I, here. I agree. I agree. Um, we had had a pause on Bold Live, and I really miss connecting with the fans and um, talking to the yeah, cast back. members on the show and hearing about the show and giving fans insight. So, yeah, it's great to be back, and I appreciate you being here. Yeah. Um, all well, right. We had a heck of a week. There's lots to, lots to unpack. Lots to unpack. And we are going to um, uh, get to the phone lines really soon here. Um, I will. Let me see here. Let me, oh, I see. I have a Maybe new. We need to do a reset. I well, no, I, I just have to do a new thing with these graphics because they they changed how this works, and uh, I'm just still figuring out how to push these buttons. Uh, select media. Okay. Oh, we're but, good. We're not. They say we're not frozen anymore. We're not frozen anymore. Okay. And Candace well, is going to come teach you tech support again. So, Candace, yes, please. Yeah. Come in and help, Casey. Well, and very soon we're going to open the hotline. That's the number. If you want to, you know, call now seven or. 620-647-8881. All right. So there it is. I'm just going to go away. Well, now I'm going to, now I have some questions from Twitter. Are you ready for this, Tanner? Yes. 
Okay. Uh, let me just pu I'm, punch these. I'm in. dying. And then we'll we'll get through these quick, and then we'll uh, get to those phone lines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am reading the comments. I see everyone. I. So this is from Lynn Tanner. What Stay will you miss the, the most about working with Kimberlyn? I always loved it when you had scenes together. Yeah, me too. Um, Kimberlyn is is one of the most fun. Uh, I mean, everyone it brings like something different, but Kimberlyn always brings this such a strong point of view of this character. She's played this character for so long and she knows it so well. And uh, just playing after uh, off of her and, 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 you know, we got to figure out a lot about our relationship because, you know, there wasn't a lot in the past. And um, yeah, I'm going to miss Kim, Kim, like came with Kimberlyn and getting her gardening tips with, with avocados. She helped me have an av avocado tree. She gave me tips on that. But she's just the best, and she always like um, would bring a great energy to the set. And um, yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna have to have Kimberly come Kimberlyn. back with you. I'm bummed and... out. That's a bum. That question bummed me out, man. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I, ha I have to. You know, it happened. It aired. This is what happened this week. So we're you know. I know. I know. Um, no, it was really hard. Stefan wants to know: Do you think it's okay that Finn walked out on Steffi? Tanner, what was the vibe like on set when the cast was handed this storyline? So basically, yeah. What um, what did what, what was your reaction when you learned this? Uh, your mom was going to be killed by your wife. Well, that, yeah, that's 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 a lot because you know we we we've visited this once before. Um, Finn dealing with Sheila's death. You know, we all thought she was dead with the with the bear attack. Um, but this reaction was was a lot different, obviously, because you know his his wife um, was involved and. It, it was gruesome, you know, there was the blood on the floor and uh, I think he's in a lot of shock right now and, and a lot of trauma. But for him to to walk out on Steffi, this is this was for me reading that. I was like, OK, this is a very strong reaction. Um, there's a there's a lot to unpack here. So it's going to be interesting these next couple of weeks. Right. And that's a good point you brought up because I did see people making comments. Uh, your reaction was different than when you learned your your Sheila died from the bear attack. But it's a lot different when uh, your wife is the one who uh, murdered somebody. Yeah, yeah, and he, and you know, I don't think he he doesn't blame her. He understands the circumstances, but it's still traumatic. And um, yeah, he um, he doesn't know where to put Steffi right now. He needs someone to talk to. Yeah. All right. Well, our next question is uh, from Elizabeth. What's going on with Finn and his grief, and what can you preview for the future now that Sheila is gone? Yeah, what is Casey? What is going on with Finn and his grief? Because well, you're right. First of all, I have to say I have to give you kudos for an amazing job this week on air on these shows. You've just been uh, knocking it out of the park every day with, you know, Finn realizing this. You and Jackie both, you guys uh, are. Yeah, well, great thanks, man. I appreciate that. But um, yeah, th this grief is different because his morals are always with with his family and his Steffi. I mean, these are the two strong pillars of what make Finn Finn is, is his kids and his family because, you know, he has a complicated past with his family. Obviously, we're seeing that even though he was raised by two very loving parents, you know, a lot, you know, and I, and I look back on it and I've worked with foster kids before and there is always that longing uh, of, of knowing where you came from, you know, even though you have great surrounding, uh, you know, relationships, it's it's still a lot to unpack. And so, yeah, he, he's having a you know visceral moment right now, and and he we'll see. Hopefully, he deals with it in in a productive way. Absolutely. Um, and what can we what what do we think about now that Sheila's gone? I mean, uh, you would think you would think what? Sheila being gone would make things better between you and Steffi. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's the circumstances that are around it, and 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 how she's gone because. You know, he ultimately would o always go back to, you know, wanting to rehabilitate his mother and, and, and have that kind of a, you know, structure underneath her. I think on some level, even though he knows how messed up <laughs> Sheila is and the th things that she has done over the years, there, that's what I had to go to when, when we were doing these scenes and, and where I think Brad is pulling from and all the writers are, there is still, there's always this, this little wonder and this little fire and that w was that door was completely shut now that she is dead. And then I think the circumstance of around it has, has created this, this drama we love to watch unfold. Absolutely. Um, our next question uh, from uh, Kai, Kai, 
I'm sorry if I'm butchering that wrong, but it's clear that Finn believes Steffi acted out of self-defense. So how does he make sense of the way Finn is treating Steffi, especially since he has so much empathy for Sheila, who shot them both and have actually uh, murdered other people? That's a that's a heavy. Yeah, point. I don't, I don't, yeah that is. That, and no, I think he absolutely understands that Steffi acted out of self-defense. But as far as it goes with. Um, him having empathy for for Sheila, I think, yeah, he is an empathetic person. He gives a lot of a lot of chances, obviously. And uh, this one was a little bit tricky uh, because, yeah, who who would want to make sense? And his priorities are with Steffi and uh, and his family and Hayes and and Kelly and and keeping that solid and Lee. But um, this is like some sort of primal reaction he's having, and he's not dealing with it in a in a good way. Now, I'm going to change it up a little bit because Nico just made a comment here. Uh, do you know that, um, well, what a lot of people are, are, are speculating is that this is going to open the door for Liam now that there's conflict between you and St uh, Finn and Steffi. And, but Nico made a comment. Do you know you've kind of coined the phrase that people like to refer to Liam as on social media? No, what's, what's that? You know, you know what that is? L l little puke. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I did know that Michael, Michael, one of the guys who covers us so well mentioned that when we were at the talk I, and Scott was right there. I said, oh, I'm sorry, because I, I, yeah, I, I mean, in the moment in that scene, I think there was something different in the script and that when we were shooting it, that just kind of came out because I mean, Liam was being a little puke in the moment and he, he's a little swarmy, so I don't know if this opens up the door for, for Liam. Um, I mean, he's not supporting his wife in the way that he should, but uh, that's kind of a, a Steffi thing to see if she's done, you know, being manipulated by, by what Liam right. and the trauma that she's caused her and, and hope over the years. So, well, remind um, me, was that, you know, Liam, you know, Liam, he's going to, he's going to swarm in anywhere, anywhere he can. I mean, Scott does such a great job playing that part. It, it's, it's so great. It's fun to see two different, uh, perspectives like Finn the you know he tries to be the more solid and then him be more of a selfish version of like I'm gonna make things work right. out for me and and I love doing that and we have we have a scene coming up so maybe that'll answer some questions and those are Tanner's um observations not mine so don't 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 come you know because a lot what? of people about Liam uh you know coming coming in or maybe not that's or, not my observation that's not my observation that's Finn's observation Finn's observation exactly exactly it's Finn's yeah. observation yeah. so don't you know, that's, that's 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 this, how that's how this Finn, said, this I think, gets is, a lot of people uh, Liam. riled up uh but was little puke was that scripted or did you come up with that I forget Oh, I just said I, I, I did it in the moment. It was, it was something ad different. Ad in the script. Okay. I should go back and try and see what it was. No, I, I mean, it, people but, went uh, crazy for that. But yeah. Yeah. Liam All right. Was, Liam was being a little puke. So oh. sometimes you got to call him as it is. It's, it, exactly. Now, it's hard to read that this. There we go. Viewers in Poland. Hi, Poland. Oh, that's better. Um, only recently watched Finn become a father as the episodes with Hayes' birth was aired last week. How can you pitch Finn's future to Polish viewers who don't know the great storylines twist ahead i mean there's so oh my god things. we've been through a lot since then i gotta re i gotta reach you might have to help me with this uh, yeah we had <laughs> just buckle up just buckle <laughs> she, up. yeah just buckle up uh, there's gonna be a wild ride there's a great remote uh what else could i tease here i mean i don't there's a lot happened since then but uh that birthing scene was one of the more memorable moments on the show i uh, Jacqueline and I were both in in this tub with this real baby, and who was so sweet and so great. But at the end of right at the end, we only had two quick little items to shoot, and the baby pooped in the pool. And I looked down at Jacqueline, we're all hands, and I think the baby just puked, and she had just had one, and I just had one. So we've been covered in you know everything. And uh, she says it's ten minutes till lunch. I think we could do these two items if we just stay. And I said, all right, if you're game, I'm game. So. The last two shots were a poopy pub, poopy <sighs> pool. <laughs> the, it, it's glamorous being an actor, isn't it? It, it is. Very it glamorous. Is. But I was, I was at least in there with Jacqueline. Her and I are, are good with that sort of stuff. So it, I was happy she was my teammate in that one. Well, we're going to go to the phone lines now and see who's calling in this week. It was a long ring. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Casey. Hey, Rebecca, say hi to Tanner. 
Hi, Tanner. How, how did I just know hey, that's Rebecca? Rebecca? She's, she's called in every show. I, I know. I, I oh, that's you. great. Thank you for calling <laughs> in. It's nice to talk with you. How are you? You're welcome. I'm okay. How are you doing? Good. What do you, what, what are you thinking? What's your question? What's, how do you think, how do you view um, this week? How, how was it for you to, um, how, how did you get like, prepare yourself to get so emotional with these scenes this week? Um, yeah, it, it was a little bit, uh, I mean, everyone kind of has their, their things that they use. Um, this one was pretty traumatic. So I was kind of like the surroundings, the blood was there and, and my wife was there and, you know, just kind of being in that moment and, and recognizing what was going on and, and, you know, pulling from different stuff like that. It was, you know, it, I was able to, to hopefully uh, give a convincing, <laughs> convincing read of, of what was going on. All right, Rebecca, I've got to move on. Thank you for calling. Nice to talk to you, Rebecca. Bye. Bye bye. She knows. Okay. Liars. Right. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, it's Joan from South Carolina. Hey, Joan, say hi to Tanner. Hi, Tanner. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hey. Hi, handsome. It's nice I, to talk um, to you. I just I don't want to hold on the line too long. I know a lot of Joan? Oh. Hello, Joan. Oh no, we lost no. her. Try again. I think I think we lost her. Uh, Joan, call back. Yeah, try, yeah, try her again. Can you hear me? Hey, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. It's, oh, is this Joan? Joan? Again. I had you on two lines. Yes, I had you on two lines, sir. I oh. didn't want to miss it. Okay. Um, oh, good. Glad you have the backup yeah, line. Again. Glad you have the um, backup line. <laughs> I really wanted to say hi to you, and I don't want to hold you up, hold up too long. Um, you are beautiful on the Golden Beautiful from South Carolina. Oh, thank right. you. Well, that's at least I, at least I got one of the. You take care, Cameron. Beautiful, so I got one of them. You that's take good. care. Oh, that's good. That was sweet, Joan. You yeah. have a great weekend. Thanks a lot. I appreciate Bye-bye. you. All right. Well, that was worth uh, getting through for. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? I hear this is something nice here. Okay, well. Hi. I was wondering if that was Joan. Maybe she had three lines. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's got- <laughs> Maybe. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Mel from New York City. Mel, say hi to Tanner. Hey, Mel. Hey, Casey. Hi, Tanner. How you doing? I'm great. It's nice to talk to you guys. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I just wanted to call in too, like the other calls, and say that I, I really enjoyed this week. And I think that, you know, I definitely, I'm team spin because it feels like to me, it's totally understandable that he would be conflicted because he was in shock. You know, he was, he's, he's such a forgiving person and he didn't want his mother to die. So I can understand why he probably wouldn't want to sleep in the same house where she died at. You know, I know he loves his wife and his kids and his family. He's totally committed, but he was in shock. So I'm definitely team Finn, and I'm just happy that hopefully in the future we have a little more happier times with Steffi and Finn, but all that sort of, you know, um, all that kind of trauma around him all the time. So I'm definitely team Finn, totally understand that he didn't want his mother to die, but he couldn't sleep there the same night she died. Yeah, I agree. They should have went to the Roosevelt or something. Like, maybe we could get out of the house for a second, guys. <laughs> you know? But, um... I- yeah, right. right. Gonna, no, okay, she's like, no, no, we gotta stay. <laughs> but um, we needed a yeah, little no, caution I, tape I agree. around it. Yeah, yeah, just some caution tape. Just ignore that. It'll have yeah. coffee around it. Yeah. Um, no, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Finn's having a, a, a real visceral reaction right now, so hopefully his wife's there for him uh, because he needs someone right now. And Finn doesn't have a lot of male friends on this show, so he's he's kind of um, you know, Ridge. Ridge said, "Get your get your act together." So. He, uh, he needs someone to talk to, I think, right now. All right, Mel, thanks yeah, so for calling Maybe he can be friends with him. Huh? Oh, hey, thank you. All right, thank you, Mel. Yeah, I agree. All right. All right. Um, I'm just some, some comments from people watching live. Hey, everybody, if you're watching live, thank you. 
Uh, Joy Cheeks says, your acting was great. Looking at the blood of your mother. OMG. What was that like, putting your hand in the blood? Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, when I heard that, I was like, okay, I'm putting my hands in the blood. Okay, this is a real, that's when I realized that this is an out of, you know, an out of body moment for him almost. And, and he is in total shock because I don't think that's a necessarily normal thing uh, someone would do. So that actually helped me get into the, uh, into Finn's head on, on what exactly was, yeah. was going on with him and, and to just be like, oh, he's not being rational right now. He is, you know, he's having himself a, he's having himself a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it was over, it overtake him. He wasn't able to be there for, for Steffi and what she went through, which is, which is unlike him. So yeah, he, he's, um, he's in one right now. And Blondie Blue says, keep hope away from Finn. Keep Liam away from Steffi. Yeah, keep it. We've been keeping them away for a while, well, the Liam part anyway, but I'm not sure what's going on with Hope. She's she seems pretty tied up with Thomas, if you ask me. Um, uh, I see a question here from Joe. Literally, maybe uh, literally. What? <laughs> well, um, we're okay. Only time will tell what happens there. Um, I just see a question coming through. Joseph said, uh, Finn did a wonderful job saving Eric's life with his surgery battle. You did. Those were fun to see you see Dr. Finn uh, at the hospital working. Oh, it was the best. It, actually, it was one of my, f you know, favorite uh, storylines uh, that we've we've done in a while. And it was cool to see Finn in his in his element. You know, we see the Forester, you know, designing and stuff like that. And so it was like, oh, this is really cool to see, you know, Dr. Finn take command you know, present the present what's going on in the cases. And I thought uh, John McCook was so great in, in, in all his scenes and, and Torsten and, and Jennifer, everybody's uh, um, Jack. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was really fun stuff to shoot. And uh, yeah, I, I really liked that storyline. Uh, Mona and wants Finn, to the hero again. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't, don't forget ever the forcers forget really fast. Sheila shows up and I was like, I just saved your grandfather's life. Give a guy a break. I mean, what can't you do? <laughs> What can't you do? You know, no, I can do it all. It's great. You're so good. Um, people want to know when we shot this week's episodes. And this was, uh, I think this week was pretty much uh, first part of February, late January, early February. Um, yeah. All right. We've got a ton month, of people right? on the phone line. So I got to, I got to zip through. Hi, welcome to Bold do? Live. You know, Say hi to Tanner. G'day, Tanner. It's Marco from Australia. Oh, Marco from Australia. Oh, awesome, man. How are you? Nice to talk to you. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm happy to be uh, chatting with everyone. Awesome. Well, I've got a question for you. Yeah? Back when, back when Finn supposedly died, I called through and spoke to Jackie, and I asked her if Finn was alive. Jackie couldn't keep a straight face, so <laughs> in keeping up with <laughs> so in keeping up oh. with tradition, I'm asking you now: <laughs> Is Sheila alive? So you're basically you're asking me if I'm a better poker player than Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And if I if I if I have pocket aces or if I'm bluffing. Yeah, to tell you the you truth, have to pick a poker face. To tell you the truth, who knows? It is the soap world, but um, we definitely had to say goodbye to Kimberly at work, which was really, really tough and really sad. No, <laughs> I know, Marco, I know, right? we I love know. Kimberlyn. We do. Know, we'll we'll, we'll have her back too. on Bold Live, and we can talk about this more. Yeah, but I know. Well, thank you, Marco. I'm going to head on to the next phone caller. Hey, boys. But you never know. I mean, it is the soaps. I was, you know, Finn was smuggled out of a hospital. So maybe, who knows, a handout of the, I don't know. You guys can do yeah, anything. That's, that's yeah, that's what the, that's still, why the show is so don't know fun. how your mother got you out of the hospital. Uh, but that's, that's. It doesn't matter. That's another she time. She did. She pulled it off. And thank gosh she did. Yes. All right. Bye, Marco. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. All right. Um, on here. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Say hi to Tanner. Oh, wait, we have rang twice. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Hi, this is Caitlin from Dallas. 
Oh, Caitlin from Dallas. Welcome. Thanks for calling. Hey, in. Caitlin. Hey, say hi to Tanner. Hey. Hi. Hi, Tanner. Hi, Casey. Um, I'm a huge Finn fan. I'm a huge uh, Sim fan. And before I ask my question, Tanner, I just wanted to let you know that it is so evident that Finn's heart is Steffi and that that is felt so deeply on screen and it is loved by so many people. So I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, oh, thanks. However, I appreciate you being way, a fan of Finn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, however, with the way that Finn is currently being written and with him seemingly standing against Steffi and in support of Sheila in this moment, after everything that they've been through, it kind of just feels like it's stomping all over the significance of the shootings and Finn's resurrection story and their reunion, which as a fan is infuriating. So I just uh, <laughs> wanted to know what your personal feelings are about Finn being written this way and maybe what your hope is for Finn's future or for Steffi and Finn's future if, if they have one. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I I, I agree. I don't think anyone wants. Yeah, you know, I don't think anyone wants sin to go away. I mean, they 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 have one of the I think best uh, relationships in in soaps, and it's really fun to see all these different uh, elements thrown at them and them survive and 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 how they battle through it. But with this recent reaction, Absolutely. yeah, it was it was different than any of the other ones, um, and, and any of the other challenges that they'd faced, and so. That's why I think it's just a a moment where the, where Finn is is really really rocked, and you're right, his his values we know them, and that's what's so great uh, about playing him is is he has such great, true, honest values, and I think that's beneficial for the show because there's a lot of characters that might not, and so it's nice to be the barometer of all that. But in this moment, yeah, he's he's having a really hard time mentally, which I think as an actor, I was when I read that, I thought, yeah, why isn't he staying by his wife? What is going on? This is not like him. So this is something right. deep in him that's that's been triggered and uh, he's going to have to figure that out. And and hopefully the people around him will will help him with that. But he's not getting a lot of help because, yes, normally Finn would be right there with Steffi and um, and helping her through it. But someone needs to help Finn through this. As right. well. And it was also it was so jarring and in a good way. I mean, it's it's interesting story, but it was really jarring when people who are Finn fans and Sin fans know Finn to his core. And it's like, no, don't do this. This is not him. But it's almost it almost says something that Steffi and Finn have to have these crazy, violent <laughs> uh, story thrown at them because of the most nasty villain for them to kind of be pinned against each other or to be separated. So I think that speaks so highly to Steffi and Finn as a pairing and y'all play that so beautifully. And yes, sorry. I'll yeah, we, off. I know y'all need to take other No, questions, no, but, these are great um, questions. Um, but I, I agree. Yeah. Um, um, Finn and, and Steffi have, have, have wonderful chemistry. That's uh, it, it's fun to, but it is also, I see <laughs> as a show and as a writer's uh, uh, coming up with ways to challenge that. And uh, that's what, that's what keeps me intrigued every, every week I get the scripts a week before they come out. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm getting, I'm playing with what I have where, wherever it goes. So it's exciting. Well, Caitlin, thank you so much for calling. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. Good. Deep. That was a deep call. I saw a comment. That was a deep call. That was a lot of critical thinking there. That was a good one. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is um, my name is Nikki, and I'm from New York. Hello. Hi, Nikki. How are you doing? Hi. What's your question? Hi, Tana. I just wanted to tell you, I think you're very Hi. Happy. <laughs> oh well, thank you. And my that's, question. That's, <laughs> well, my question yeah. is, what was your reaction when you found out she was getting killed off? Oh, well, uh, me, Tanner. Well, I, was, I yeah, that's yeah. I mean, one of the most iconic, one of the most iconic supervillains of of um, daytime television, and so for them to 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 take this step, I was like, holy smokes. It was definitely a big moment. I was, I was shocked like everybody else. What was your reaction, Nikki? Uh-oh. I was very surprised. I didn't think that it was true at first. 
Mm-hmm. It's tough. <laughs> we're, de- we're just like Finn. Yeah. You're, we're all dealing with this grief. <laughs> None of us thought it was true at first. You know, it's like uh, the way the way it was. Uh, Monday's episode went off with uh, Sheila bleeding out. You know, everybody thought maybe maybe Doctor Finn would come in and rescue her, or you know. But uh, yeah, nope, that was it. I'm just surprised there's not better security at your house. Well, Casey, you, you would be the one to have to figure that out. But uh, yes, there's. Uh, speaking, <laughs> speaking as a viewer, I was just like, I thought. That yeah, as you're speaking as a viewer, okay, uh, and then, okay, as if I could speak as a viewer, we could change this whole conversation sometimes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think sin, uh, sin is due for a good connection on a remote. And, oh. and maybe we go back to Monte Carlo because they've been tried and tested over and over and over again with these challenges, but it's what keeps me engaged. So I don't know, but yeah, we should definitely hire better security on the cliff house. I mean, it's only half the house. The other half is a cliff. You can't even get up that side. So I don't know. Right. Right. Well, right, let's go back to the phone lines for one more call. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, it's Maria from Philly. Hi, Maria. Say hi to Tanner hey. real quick. Hi, yeah. Tanner. How are you? Hi. I'm great. I'm um, great. I just have a comment. Good. Um, the show was great this week. Um, I just want to say this. I feel the chemistry between you and Stephanie is starting to slowly go away. I sense a hope and Finn possible. Yes? I, I don't, if, 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 if you sense that, I don't, yeah, I think... I, she, I, I, I like this. Not, she's, a like a she's just trying to bait. She's just trying to bait me. I, I like this. It's good. I mean, if you um, saw today's episode, did you see today's episode? I watched every episode. <laughs> okay. Well, it ended with uh, Finn in uh, Hope's arms. Well, I sent this a while back, and I, I said they're going to end up together. In some way, it's going to happen. And this is going to be the way it's going to happen. Yes, but we can't forget that Hope is with Thomas right now. Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, there's I, I got think to be she's, something to be said. That I think Hope she's is, pretty preoccupied. Yeah, so Hope is uh, with no, Thomas. No, I think. So I, I don't, think, don't, I can't, we can't just uh, like no, throw know, that I out. No, I know, I'm just, I know. What about but, Thomas? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Thomas? If, uh, Finn can no. uh, he'd have to battle Thomas. No. It might be a mountain to climb, but mm. I think Finn oh, just no, I think Finn's no. needs someone to talk to. And um yeah, I don't I don't really know, you know, that that relationship I seems feel pretty the, I feel platonic vibes, to me. Though. I feel vibes between I feel vibes between you two. Oh, all right. I really do. Well, well, so but I mean we have Lope, that's Liam and Hope, and, and there's Thope, right? Thomas and Hope. And so yes. you're you're thinking <laughs> are you thinking Fope? Yep, boop. Finn and Hope. But then but then there's also Sin, you know, Steffi and Finn, and now now people Hin. Hin. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, nothing is too. nothing Hin. is good as nothing is good but as I, but I but I don't want to upset the Thope fans out there. You know, Hope is just comforting yeah. Dr. Finn. No, I understand as a friend, as a comfort, but I feel more than not coming. Mm, all right. Well. Well, I do appreciate you calling and keep watching. You watch every day. We love you for that. And, every you know, day. And do you watch? I'm, do you watch on, really... on CBS or Paramount yes. Plus? Uh, CBS. Great. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And right, I, I'm like, I like, I love the the week. Everything the way it happened, it played out really well. You all did really good, and. I'm just calling in to say what I feel and what I think, and I'm hoping, hoping that Finn and Hope get together. Interesting. All right. All right. Planting something. Well, keep watching. Thank you so much for calling. Mm-hmm. All right. Goodbye, guys. Perfect. Thanks. All right. I got to get All out right, of here before, before I get into trouble with the fans. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, Tanner, well, before you – Nothing before really you, to say. Before you leave, uh, you've been amazing. I've enjoyed hanging out with you. Can you just uh, give do the fan roll call? This is where we say 
tied up oh, with yes, fans I that, that are on the live stream. We've had so many questions in the in the in the comment box too, which were good. Well, too. this is it. part of the fun. Everyone gets to to the community of the Bold and the Beautiful family gets to chat. So you know how the bolt roll call works. Uh, go ahead and type yeah. your name in there, and as soon as it starts going through, uh, Tanner will give you a shout out. I see April. I see Melissa and Jerry. Nita and Kenny and Stefan. There's a lot of people. Joey. Hey, Nico. Zoe, Joe, Rosemary, Marvin, Jacqueline, another Jacqueline, Renee, Kelly. Oh, they're going really fast. Dominic, Kelly, Joan. <laughs> Love Sin. Me too. Blaine. Melissa, Sarah, and Dominique. Jacqueline. Marvin, Nora, Mary, Jolie. Dominique, Jolie, Jennifer, Gracie, Patrick. I feel like I'm in a Dominique. I said Dominique. Exactly, oh. Kate, Nora. Hey, Ronald. Beth, All right. Renee, Ronald. Three, two, yeah. one. Renee, Melly, Julia, I'm going horse. All right. Boom. Nice. All right. Hey, that's sorry, it. Emily. All right. All right, Tanner. Thank you so much. Any any Emily. final thoughts? Um, yeah, I don't I just keep tuning in because uh it's these next few weeks are are a real wild ride and uh yeah, Sin Nation might be challenged, like the last caller said. We'll we'll have to see, and and uh, no, just just keep watching because uh, this this storyline is pretty pretty juicy, and uh, I love Kimberly. All right, all right. Well, Tanner, you have a great uh, weekend, and we'll see you next week. All right, see you guys later. Thanks, Casey. Bye, guys. All right, there he is, Tanner Tan Man. Thank you so much. Uh, great. Great questions, great callers this week. Uh, that was awesome. I did see a question there. Why is Bold Live only 30 minutes? It used to be an hour, right? Well, we we had to shorten it because uh, of time conflicts and schedules. So uh, rather than not have Bold Live, we decided, you know, we'll do this and we, we'll keep it to 30 minutes. Uh, that just seems to work better. I know maybe we'll have... Um, a non-live show where we can talk a little bit more in depth with the cast. But um, as far as Bold Live, uh, this is it. That's it. And um, I do appreciate you all for being here and, um, you know, taking time out. And I just love hanging out with all of you. I'm trying to see how do I do this? Let me see. Is there an easy way to fix this? I'm taking these here. No, there isn't an easy way. I've got, if Rodeo's watching, the Rodeo people, hi, Eric. Uh, he's uh, the, the engineer who's created this program. So we thank them for that. But they made a few changes here, and it makes it a little more difficult for me to push these things. So I'm just going to um, do it like this. Okay, so uh, please follow uh, the Bold and Beautiful on their um, official channels at Bold and Beautiful CBS on Instagram and Facebook, The Bold and the Beautiful. That's where you can get all kinds of updates and information and fun behind the scenes videos. So please follow us on our social channels. You can also follow me at Casey Cass on Instagram or on X at Casey Kasperzik. Um, I also uh, post some fun things. I have some fun photos of uh, Kimberlyn Brown as a, a little tribute for her. So um, you might want to check that out. So uh, till next week, I want to say, hey, we're going to be here. Can I press that? Does that work? How's that work? All right. Till next week, be bold, be beautiful. And be back next week with an all-new Bold Live. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. So that's it? That's it, Katie.